Joseph Norman Hill died four years ago in California, but in the 1970s, Hill lived in Boardman. And today, police and prosecutors announced that during that time, he was responsible for the murder of not one, but two young boys. Photos of Brad Bellino and David Evans were together at Boardman Township Hall during a news conference to announce that Joseph Hill Sr. likely murdered both boys, Brad Bellino, age 12 in 1972, and David Evans, 13, in 1975. Could there be more? It's very possible that there are other cases out there here, California, somewhere in between along the Killer Hill's journey. The link between Hill and Bellino was announced five months ago. Today's announcement was that Hill most likely murdered Evans, too. The body was found approximately one mile from where Bradley Bellino's uh, body was found. Borman Police Chief Todd Wurz said that David Evans' body was found on January 23, 1975, on Crestline Place in Borman, about a mile from his home on Ridgewood Drive. WKBN covered it. Were there any injuries to him? There appeared to be a, a slight abrasion uh, to the face. David Evans was diabetic, but despite the abrasion and a broken bone, the coroner ruled he died of natural causes. However, during that time, several investigators from Boardman Police Department and surrounding areas, based upon the information at the time, um, felt that this, this was of a homicide. After it was determined Hill had likely killed Brad Bellino, police convinced current coroner David Kennedy to change Evans' death to homicide and then have his clothes tested. And as a result of the testing, it was found that a DNA profile obtained off of David Evans' underwear came back to Joseph Hill Sr. also. And I was comfortable we would end up getting an indictment if Mr. Hill was still alive. We had two young boys dead Foreman Police Sergeant Mike Hughes said the case file on David Evans indicated there was panic at the time in the township. Actually, there was letters to the, to the newspaper about that, about the, we're not letting our children play outside anymore. Mr. Hill ruined so many lives. I only wish that he lived long enough to have been brought to justice. Police today said they don't believe Joseph Hill was involved with any other murders anywhere around Youngstown. The parents of David Evans, they're now deceased. He has a brother and sister who live out of state. They declined to be part of today's news conference and asked for privacy concerning the latest news about their brother's death. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.